How's it going guys? Hope you're all doing well. I have some test results to share with you today because I finally got around to testing these two kits that I built recently. So these are both from Horticulture Lighting Group. The one in the front is the 260 watt kit and it's got two of those new QB648 boards on it. And then the big boy in the back here is the 320 watt version Oop, with three boards on it. I'm stuck on something. I don't know what. So if you check the specs for both of these kits, they're actually both kind of in the same ballpark. Like obviously this one's got a whole other board and another 60 to 80 watts on this one, but they're both rated to flower a two foot by four foot space. And uh, actually this one is rated for a two by four or a three by three. And then the bigger one is rated for a two by four or half of a five by five. So two and a half by five. So they are sort of in the same realm, right? And I was mainly curious to see, like, is it going to be worth upgrading from this guy to this guy in the spaces that they're both rated for? So I have a 2x4 tent, I have a 3x3, I pitted them against one another in each one of those spaces, and uh, I'm going to share the results I got with you right now. So here's my test setup. I'm using a fan to circulate air in the tent just to simulate normal conditions, but I don't have an actual exhaust fan in here, so I just left the vents open at the top. I grabbed some electrical and temperature measurements as soon as I turned the lights on to record sort of where everything was at on initial startup, and then I ran each light for an hour before taking any PPFD measurements, and here are the results. I won't read this all out to you and like bore you to death, so you can pause here if you want to go over these numbers, but I will cherry pick a few bits of info. Looking at the electrical test results on the left for the three board kit, it really goes to show just how good these HLG series drivers are from Meanwell. This driver is rated for 1750 milliamps and I was seeing just about 2 amps out of it, which isn't unheard of for drivers in this line. It ran about 93% efficient. The XLG on the other hand did much closer to rated current at 2.18 amps and it operated just about 10 degrees hotter than the HLG and was under 90% efficient. Both lights got up to about 41 degrees Celsius on the top side of the heatsink and the voltage across the boards on the 320 watt kit averaged about 54 volts per board, while on the 260 watt kit they averaged about 54.25 volts. Here's my process for testing PPFD. I have a template marked out with 45 positions in the 2x4 and 25 positions in the 3x3. I move my sensor into place, zip up the tent completely, and then grab my measurement. When you take measurements in an actual tent, there are always weirdnesses and inconsistencies with your readings depending on how the tent material wrinkles or where the vents or zippers are placed, and I used to average these out when populating my charts, but I've since decided to not adjust them at all and just present the raw data that I recorded and you guys can manipulate it however you like. I definitely noticed that the long side of the tent without the door on it typically read higher for each test. The first test I'll share is a hanging height of 25 inches from the light to the floor, which works out to be about 24 inches from light to sensor since the sensor is about an inch tall. The 320 watt kit numbers are in blue and the 260 watt kit numbers are red, and you can see straight away that the big kit is really blasting this space with an average of about 965 micromoles per meter squared per second over all 45 measurement points. The three boards gives it good reach into the far corners, and coverage is nice and even throughout, though a little intense and you might find yourself dimming a touch. The 260 watt kit drops off below the 500 mark in a few places on the far edges, but puts up very solid numbers throughout the space, peaking in the 900s in the center and averaging 720 micromoles across all 45 measurements. At 18 inches from light to sensor in the 2x4, I didn't take any measurements for the big kit because given the fact that the kit was averaging almost a thousand micromoles at 24 inches, there isn't much point in dropping it down any further for the vast majority of users. The 260 watt kit gets up over 1200 micromoles at this height in the dead center, but it does lose power around the edges to achieve this, so I think it's better to hang it a little bit higher to even things out. Moving to the 3x3 space, the 320 watt kit just barely fits in here. Looking at these numbers, you can see just how much light the close walls of the 2x4 reflect, and despite being one square foot smaller, I think the 2x4 is a better space to grow in. I've got to get a new template in the 3x3 to grab some more measurement points, but there are enough here to extrapolate on what you're getting. You're looking at 24 inch results right now. The 320 watt kit hits a max PPFD of 1000 on the nose and then drops off to around 600 in the corners, while the 260 watt kit peaks in the high 700s and drops down into the low 400s in the corners. Dropping down to 18 inches from light to sensor brings pretty solid improvements for each light and doesn't affect the corners too much. The 320 watt kit is easily over 1000 micromoles towards the center, and the 260 watt kit touches that mark as well at this height with good sustained coverage throughout. 
If I were running the 260 watt kit in this space, I'd be inclined to bring it down a little lower than 24 inches to push the numbers up a bit in the middle without sacrificing too much in the corners. So there you go, both lights perform well in these spaces and I think the 260 watt kit is truly all you need for them unless you really want to maximize efficiency or you're running CO2 or something. Just for fun, I did try dimming the 320 watt kit down to 1050 milliamps or 1050, which is just about half power for that driver. And at this current level, the kilowatt was reading only 165 watts being drawn, and I was still averaging over 500 micromoles across the entire 2x4 space at 18 inches. So if you want to run this thing soft and really max out your efficiency, there are some major gains to be had with this unit. I want to sign off with a big thank you to HLG for sending these kits for me to test. I'm not being paid for this video, but they have given me these kits free of charge and it's greatly appreciated. If you guys are into growing with LED and garden automation, do me a big old solid and subscribe and I'll try to keep this content coming. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.